What's up, fellas? So a lot of y'all been asking me about cold approach and when to call a girl after you get the number. All right. Well, here's the thing, guys. All the there's a reason why I waited to put this video on because all the other videos about self improvement and um, real confidence and having an abundance mindset, I had to put those up first before I put this one up because. All you're gonna need all those to be having a success, successful approach. Cause see, without real confidence, not you trying to act confident, I'm talking about the real deal confidence and an abundance mindset, more than likely you're gonna bro, uh, blow the approach. So the first thing you need to know is that a girl, when you approach her, she is attracted by how confident you are. Now, Let's talk about this. Why would a girl care so much about your fucking confidence, the way you moving and all that? Guys, I've said it once and I'm gonna say it again. Women only wanna deal with guys who are fucking. The rich get richer and the guys who getting sex get more sex and the guys who ain't getting sex won't get sex. So they are, uh, guys who are confident, uh, they approach and a guy who's not confident, their approach gonna be totally different. Now, a guy who's not getting laid, he's gonna naturally be nervous. Why? Because he don't wanna blow, blow it because he has a scarcity mindset. That's first and foremost. A confident guy always has an abundance mindset. That's why he's confident because he's not gonna put the girl on the pedestal because he realizes this is just one chick. I'll probably meet five more today, five more tomorrow. It's no big deal. So he's confident. And because he don't worry about it because he knows this is just one chick. You understand what I'm saying? Also, some guys are just naturally confident and some guys need different things to feel good about themselves. That's why I tell you guys to do the fucking self-improvement. Now, without the self-improvement, you ain't going to feel good about yourself. And when you go up and approach this woman, she's going to see that, guys. I'm telling you she's going to see it. They are like fucking bloodhounds for fake confidence. You can't fake that shit. So, first and foremost, you gotta have the confidence and you gotta believe in your heart that you can pull this chick. Point blank, period. Now, when you go up and approach her, understand that rejection depends on a lot of things, more than just your looks or how you dress. It don't care if you got a money suit on. It don't matter. It don't care. I don't care if you fucking seven, eight percent body fat, six foot, seven feet tall, it don't matter. If you're not her type, you're not her fucking type. Point blank, period. This where having uh, playing a number game and also having a good understanding of the game and knowing that and having an abundance mindset. Everybody has their type. You have your type. I have my fucking type. So that's first and foremost. Another thing, her emotional availability. Guys, if she just go going through something with a dude or just got through going through something with a dude, she might not want to be dealing with dudes right now. That's just the bottom line. She just might want to break from dudes right now. Another thing is her life. Guys, women get on their grind too. You, if she's a woman that's in school, a single mother and working a full-time job, maybe she don't want to deal with a dude right now. Like I can tell you for, for myself, I'm in the fitness industry. Coming into the New Year's, you know, I'm not going to be able to date as much up to the summer because from January all the way up to like June, my life becomes a living hell as far as training. That's when I make most of my money is from January to June. So I ain't gonna be able to fool with as many chicks as I normally can the rest of the year. That's just the way it is. And girls get on their grind too. So sometimes they might be in school, they might got a kid, they might be working a full-time job. So right now dealing with a dude might not be optimal. All right? So you just gotta understand that, that it's all in timing. She gotta be emotional, ready. You gotta... Act confident, she gotta really believe you're confident in your approach and the type of approach. If you come on too aggressive or you say some goofy shit, you ain't getting a fucking number. Now what I advocate and what I do is I introduce myself and then I ask her her name and then I'll ask her would she like to go out and have a drink sometimes. I keep it simple, simple the fact that I know mother nature has already taken care of the attraction. I know there's nothing I can say out of my mouth if I'm not her type that's gonna get her to like me. Either she like what she see, and either she think I'm confident or not, 
But either way, ain't nothing I'm finna say out of my mouth that's gonna turn a girl who I'm not her type and to give me her number. Now, let's hypothetically say I say something funny and she gives me her number. I don't even want that. Because if I'm not her type and she just gave me her number because I said something funny, you think I'm gonna fuck that girl? I'm not gonna fuck that girl. She might even go on a date with me and waste my fucking time. I don't want a girl going out with me or something because I said some funny. I want a girl that genuinely find me physically attractive. Either, either you do or you don't. I don't want to waste my time just talking, uh, going out with somebody who's not genuinely interested. Just They just going out because they feel like I said something funny, so I might be entertaining for the night. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not out to entertain no fucking body. Now, so with the as now say you introduce yourself and then you ask her uh, would she like to go out and have a drink. Let's hypothetically say she do. I like to offer her my number. Now, the reason why I like to offer her my number is because that shows confidence. That's showing an abundance mindset. That's like, if you call, you call. If you don't, you don't. I don't care. Now, when you ask her for her number, that comes across as, I don't know if you would call me, and I don't know. So I, want, I need your number to make sure I don't lose, you know, lose contact with you. So just the fact that you offered your number, you're saying, you know, it's whatever you want to be. If you call, if you use it, use it. You don't, you don't. It's fine. That's an attractive. That's confidence. That's like, that's like you know. I'm not gonna lose any sleep if you don't call. Now, if she declines, some girls will say, "Well, I don't call men." That's fine. You take her number, and if you take her number, what I advocate is I'm gonna wait a least. So let's say this is Saturday. Let's say this Saturday, I won't call her till that next Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, guys. This comes in to the abundance mindset. This comes into the abundance mindset. Now this is going, me waiting like this is going to do a couple of things. First of all, a woman who's, a, a, a woman who's really genuinely interested in you, she's going to remember who you is. And also guys, understand this. What's one thing I found out when I be, truly became a high value man? Guys, if I got a girl number on Saturday, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to take her out that following weekend. Guys, I got, if you're, if you're a true high value male and I'm saying this, you know, I'm, you know what I'm talking about. There is no way I, you can meet a girl on this Saturday and the following weekend, you can just take her out like that. If you're a guy and you're dating five or six chicks as is, there is no way you just going to slide her in that first weekend. There is no way if I got your number Saturday, I'm going to call you Tuesday and ask you out for the following Saturday. Man, I can't just get you in like that. There's no way in the hell I can just get you in like that. So I'm going to call the following Tuesday or Wednesday, preferably the following Wednesday. And guys, like I say, this is what works for me because I am a high-value male. What's a high-value male? My time is very precious. I don't have a lot of free time. So... By default, when I became a high value male with not a lot of time, I started having to do this and I seen the women respond to it and I was shocked. But I wasn't doing it to act as if, like I tell you guys, if you don't have it, I really was doing it. Like I really deal with a lot of women and I started noticing women respond to it. I was like, damn. So what I'm telling you is this what works for me because I really do live that lifestyle. But what I'm telling you, if you don't, do it is very attractive to women. It's so many thirsty fucking dudes out here that it's just a turn off. If a lot if a lot of you guys are not getting ass because you come off as too fucking thirsty to the girl. Point blank period. If you're a high value male, if you have friends, if you are pursuing your purpose, there is no way in the hell if you met a girl Saturday or Sunday that you can go out with her the, the following weekend. Most if you talk if you know most high value guys, I tell you what. How many times have you met a girl? Think about this now. How many times have you met a girl on the weekend and you did call her that Tuesday or Wednesday, that following Tuesday or Wednesday, and she already had plans that whole weekend and she said, could you do something the following weekend? You see what I'm saying? Guys, people who high value people, people without a lot of free time, they ain't going to just be able to get you in like that. I promise you they're not. Because most times, guys who are uh, high-value guys, they're already dating girls. They're already sleeping with girls. They have a lot of friends. They work a lot. They just can't get you in like that. I can't just get no girl in like that. So I'm going to call the following Tuesday or Wednesday, probably Wednesday. Now, the reason I call Wednesday and not Monday is because when I used to call Monday, the girl would say something to the effect, yeah, call me again before uh, Saturday so we can talk a little bit more to get to know each other. 
because I called on the Monday. So what I start doing now is I call on Wednesday and it's close already to the weekend. So she don't expect me to call again because it's already Wednesday. And her interest, all the girls' interests are sky high. You would think waiting that long to call a girl, you would think that they'll be like, man, you know, like, I don't want to talk to you no more. All the girls, they'll just say something like, what took you so long to call? And you could just say something like, I've been working a, long, a lot. And it's so attractive to them because you already coming across as a dude that's not going to be a bugaboo, a guy who's not going to blow up their phone, a guy that if they get some pussy to, ain't going to be uh, fucking stalking them. So you already coming off across as a guy who has a life that they can just sleep with and have a good time with and not be so fucking needy. You already coming across. And guys, like I tell you from the get go, if you don't if you don't do the self improvement, if you don't do that to develop an abundance mindset, none of this shit works. I'm telling you, none of this shit works. If you got one fucking phone number and you holding on to it like it's the winning lottery ticket, I'm telling you, you already lost. You you have already lost. That's why a lot of you can't get nowhere with girls because you're afraid you coming across you coming across way too strong. You're coming across like you haven't had no ass in 15 years. And that's why you can't get nowhere. Act as if, wait till the following week. So if you got her number this Saturday, you wouldn't call next week, you call the following Wednesday. And trust me, she's gonna respond to it. I know that shocks the shit out of you, but she is. And if she had a high tr enough traction. Even if she had like a lukewarm attraction, the fact that you waited that long, the fact that you waited that long, her interest is going to go up because you're acting like a guy that has a lot going on and not thirsty. And she probably thinking like you had some dates this following weekend. So that's why you couldn't see her. So now I naturally put her in the competition mode, which is what you want. You want her vying for your validation. Now, when you went to get do the approach, no fucking compliments. No shit about, oh, I like your eyes. I like your shoe. No compliments. You're validating her. You want the woman chasing your validation. You don't just give your validation away. No compliments. I know you want to go up to her and you think, oh, if I compliment her on her hair or her nails or her eyes, that this is going to make her like me. Either she like you or she don't. You want, her, you want her chasing your validation. You don't want to just give it away. And like I tell you guys, Get to living a life in abundance. When I tell y'all this shit, it's easy for me because I really do live it. You know, I got three girls this weekend. I got a girl Friday, a girl Saturday, and two girls on Sunday. One at uh, like one o'clock for a drink, first date or whatever. And then I got one of my regulars coming over around four. I really do live this lifestyle. So if I go out or whatever and I meet a girl, I really do live it. What I'm telling you is that I'm getting great responses off being so busy. I'm telling you to act as if. Act as if. You get a girl number Saturday, don't be fucking calling her Tuesday or Wednesday. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So let me repeat that. You go up to the girl. You're going to introduce yourself. You're going to ask her, her name. You're going to keep it simple. Either she like you or she don't. Either she's available or she's not. There's nothing you're going to say out of her mouth, your mouth, that's going to make her like, oh, my pussy just got wet. He said that. Either she attracted to you or she not. She, or she not. Guys, there's plenty of fish in the sea. She might not. You can't take it personal. Everybody has a type. Maybe she's dating somebody. Maybe she likes women. It's a lot of shit that goes into that. Uh, she, she, You might not. If you generally didn't have the confidence, like if you was like trying to fake confidence and she could read through it, like if you thought she was at your lead, she going to see it and that'll turn off. If she, if you offer her num, offer you her number, and she says she don't call men, take her number. You're gonna wait a week to the following week to call her. You're not gonna call her right away. This is gonna build interest. I'm telling you, even if she had like a medium, I guarantee you, I'm telling you, this is gonna raise it. And I guarantee you, when she, when you try to set a date, she gonna, you already have acting like a man that don't, don't have a lot of time. She's going to set the fucking date. She's going to want to see you because you obviously have a man that has a lot going on. Now, guys, like I said, these are the techniques that I've been using to get uh, laid. You can either use them or you don't. I'm telling you what works for me. You can do what you want. Like I said, if you're a guy on here that I know don't get a lot of dates or meet a lot of girls, act as fucking if. All right? Like, comment, subscribe. Holler back.